How's it going everyone? This is the NetBeans Java Learning Palette tutorial on how to use the input output items from the palette. <coughs> the first item is extremely easy. It's send text to console. You just drag it in. You put what you want to print out to console and you hit OK. And it generates a print command if you're unfamiliar with the syntax. Also, I should note, uh, there's a command in NetBeans that makes it very easy to do this on its own. If, you're, if you need to use this item, you may as well learn this at the same time. You just type SOUT and hit tab. And then it generates the print command and you type whatever you want in there. And that's pretty easy. Aside from that, there's a slightly more complicated item which reads text from the console and stores it in any variable type and name that you want. So you drag it into the code, type comments, and you choose the integer, uh, the variable type. I'm going to choose an integer. I'm going to call it my int. And this item also smart comments itself, and I'll show that now. So if you hit OK. This seems like a lot of code at first. Also, if you don't have the scanner item, it will ask you to import it. You just hit OK. So I said this smart comments. This comment at the top is generated, and it explains exactly what the code below it does. It scans the neck for the next user input of the integer type and stores it in the myint variable. And this will update no matter what you call it and no matter what data type you put in. So I think that's pretty handy. And then at the end, for further clarification, is your specific comment. So to explain what the code is that's generated, is it creates a scanner object that scans the system input. It generates the, inter the variable type with your name that you put in. In this case, it's my int. And it puts the initialization of it inside a try catch just to avoid any kind of errors. It catches general exceptions, and it just exits your program if it doesn't work, which is fine. It's just over cautiousness, not over cautiousness on my part, because it wouldn't let me just uh, initialize this the way that I wanted. So you don't have to worry about this throwing any kind of errors when you're utilizing it. Is basically the point that I'm getting at. It's very user friendly. It just looks intimidating because it's like ten lines of code. But say we wanted this to use this in some way, after this is all set up to demonstrate how it works, you just put a print command, put my number is, and then put my int. So when I run this code, it's not going to say anything. But if I put in the number 12 and then hit enter, it'll say my number is 12. So that's pretty easy to use. If you want to prompt, beforehand you just put a print command enter your number and then when you run it it'll say enter your number put 12 and my number is 12 so that makes it really handy and for people that even know the syntax this actually saves a lot of time so it's worth considering using even if you're familiar with the syntax uh, the third and final item of the input output uh, tab is the try catch which you saw in the read text from console. If you need just a try catch statement, like just a shell of it, put, this is really, really simple. You just put your comment and the exception type that you want to throw. If you don't know what exception type you want to throw, just choose exception, and that will throw any kind of exception you have. You hit OK, and it puts the try catch block, and you could just fill in what you want. So you could uh, obviously that's not going to throw an exception, but anything that would throw an exception, or you're anticipating throwing an exception in some way, you can just drag that in and fill it in the way that you want. And obviously, when you catch an exception, you're going to want to print stack trace. Everyone does, but then you could specify. <clears throat> what type of error by printing it to the console 
and that's about it. So yeah, that's it for the input output tutorials on the NetBeans Java Learning Palette.